200 feet off the ground sits hundreds of tons of metal spinning on an engine with the specific goal of generating energy. With little human activity on them each year, windmills and wind turbines are safe machines when properly maintained and replaced. But when things go wrong, like all large machines, they can lead to disaster to anyone nearby. That was made blatantly clear on the 29th of October, 2013. When a team of four men consisting of Arjun Cortis, age 21, Dan Coos, age 19, and two other 30-year-old men were sent to do routine maintenance on a group of 12 wind turbines at the Delta Winds Peit de Witt Wind Farm in Utkinsplatt, Netherlands. Arjun and Dan were both relatively new to the job, but the other two on the team both had over five years of experience. The maintenance they planned on doing that day was nothing out of the norm. This exact team successfully completed this maintenance on turbines just like this one dozens of times together for the past year. Little did they know, that specific 1.75 megawatt Vesta V66 model turbine was a ticking time bomb. That model, no longer being sold due to its outdated internals, was ready to blow. This wouldn't be the first time a Vesta turbine was the cause of danger. In 2011, one of the flagship turbines caught fire and was destroyed just after a few years of service. In 2012, a turbine in Germany caught fire and another one in Ireland had a complete structural failure in the wind and collapsed. Finally, just before October 2013, a Vesta turbine similar to the V66 model caught fire in Canada and burned to the ground. Vesta wind turbines had shown a clear need to be updated or replaced, but many still stood in the area, only receiving routine maintenance every year, which never fixed the main issues. As the morning of the 29th dragged on, the four men made it to the fifth turbine in the line. Going 67 meters up in the sky to the top of the turbine on that late fall day, they began their routine maintenance. After about 30 minutes of mundane work, although originally unknown at the time, a circuit in the electrical system would short, causing a fire. As the fire rapidly spread amongst the top section of the turbine, the crew assessed their options. Knowing the stairs was their main exit, they sprinted for the hatch. Witnesses down below reported seeing the two 30-year-old men jump through the flames into the staircase and shuffle down the stairs just before the stairs were fully engulfed. But Arjun and Dan were left trapped on the other side of the flames with no other means of exit. Unable to push through the inferno to safety, they were stuck hundreds of feet in the air with no escape. Homeowners in the neighborhood overlooking the turbine field promptly called authorities, who then sent firefighters and first responders to the scene. Firefighters and rescuers below were fairly powerless to do anything on the ground, and according to the Netherland Times, because of the height, the fire department initially had trouble extinguishing the fire in the engine room, only getting help in the form of a large crane, who arrived hours later in the evening. Backed by a group of firefighters, they went up to assess what was left, but they were too late. As the fires became too much for the pair above, Arjun was seen by witnesses jumping off the top of the mill into the green fields below. After the fire had died down and the special firefighter team was finally able to ascend the tower, they did find Dan's body and recovered it back down to the turbine. This tragic photo was taken of Arjun and Dan embracing atop the burning mill. This was the last image taken of the pair. The Delta Wind Company told reporters during a press release, The loss of the two colleagues is indescribable and heartbreaking. The company's heartfelt condolences go out to the relatives of the two employees. The company conducted an investigation into the cause of the fire, as originally it was unknown how it started, and it was later announced that the fire had started due to a short circuit within the system. Further investigation performed against the company determined it was not criminally responsible in the deaths of Cortis and Coos. It was later discovered that due to high costs of maintenance, the crew had very limited means of escape and lacked proper training on what to do in an emergency situation like the one they faced. Bellow Wind Turbine Techs wondered why this turbine wasn't outfitted with a constant rate descender in its turbine shaft. This tech allows for easy access to the ground via a descender that drops at around 2 meters per second. Although time was not on the group's side, if this was installed it may have saved an additional life. This tragedy in Old Ginsblatt led to a Dutch political inquiry in 2014 regarding safety precautions for wind turbine maintenance crews, but nothing ever came of those inquiries. Four years later, in 2018, safety requirements for the workers in the industry were re-examined. Arjun Cortis's mother told reporters, The accident with Dan and Arjun was already five years ago. It is sad to see that no measures have been taken to guarantee safety if this incident had ever happened again. This tragedy was truly one that could have been avoided had Delta Wind replaced or updated their outdated turbines. 
Although only nine years ago, this incident helped create a set of base safety requirements for all turbines in certain countries. In closing, we would like to say, rest in peace to Arjun and Dan. That is the story of the Oltkinsplat wind turbine disaster. If you made it this far, please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing, as it truly helps me out. But if you want to hear more scary fascinating stories, make sure to check out last week's video.